So I'm going to play a similar game with you. Okay. But <laughs> being uh, this new information I just learned from you that you are a tad of an instigator sometimes. You shake gonna, it up, baby. You're going to shake it up. In the past, I would have said you had to pick one or the other or politically correct. And we are going on a point mm -hmm. system. But here, no politically correct. You have to choose one or the uh -uh. other. Uh -uh. Are you down or not down? I'm down. Down. And this is a tough one. Because I love this right here. You have to pick one. And if not... And you can't... You can't it can't be like drink champs. Oh, you got to take a drink. We don't have a shot. <laughs> but if not, you know what I'm saying? You A little bit of your uh, mojo goes away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your, your kingpin man. status in, in radio. This it. is Winnie City a, Underground. I got a, a chink. This right is there, Winnie City Underground home. versus my Radio Chicago. Woo! In question. I say this on this show. Yeah. Let's do it. And I know by station, I love my Radio Chicago. But WinnieCityUnderground.com, I'm not going to bow down to this challenge. Hey. What say you, sir? Uh, what, what? What say you, sir? You going to bow down to the challenge? Or you going to... I'm with it. You with it? All right, he's represented for my radio, Chicago. All right, question number one. Let's go. There can only be one. Only one. Oh, that there can be only one. That can be only one. That can be only one. Uh -huh. just can't be, just <laughs> now, these are tough. Tupac's mm -hmm. All Lies on Me mm. or Biggie, Life After Death. Tupac. Sorry, not sorry. Now, all my Biggie fans. Both double albums. Yeah. I'm sorry, you were going to say? No, nah, a lot, lot of people would be on me mm -hmm. a little bit. But I, I'm pro Tupac, even though Biggie is like that dude. Biggie, that album was fire. I opened up for both of them, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? And but Tupac's All Eyes On Me, that changed the game. Yes. That changed the game, for bro. Real? I mean, man, that was just... Uh, hmm? Nas, Still Matter, mm -hmm. or Jay-Z's Blueprint, the first one? Nas. My man. <laughs> I'm so, uh, and I Jiggas, my man. I yeah. gotta say nice too. And that, I, hey, and, hey, and, that boy, that boy be like, it's tough being Bobby Brown. To be Bobby then, you gotta be Bobby now. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to Jigger right there. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That album is tough for me, and I'll tell you why. Because Kanye West produced most of that album. Yeah. And I think that was some of Kanye's West's best production. I think it changed up for Jay. It changed his style up too. Having Yay yeah, do that. And who, and who was the other producer from Rockefeller that also was on there? Just Blaze. Just Blaze. Just Blaze also kind of tweaked the style up to, to, set, to have more of that soulfulness. Shout out to Bugs right there. Mm -hmm. um, he'll let you know. You know, Just Blaze is exclusive for you. Just Blaze and, and got a lot of drums from Bugs. But go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I didn't know that. You know what I'm mean, saying? I ain't gonna, gonna hold you. <laughs> and and Jay-Z came out with the one that started the beef, that 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 song. Oh, man. Dun, yeah. Dun. Uh, the doors yeah, right yeah. there. Mm. As nice, nah, you don't want it with hoes. No. no, I was like, uh, what? Until Ether, but go ahead. And then Nas, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> uh -huh. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nas had kind of stopped making music for a little bit. He came out with four albums. It took a little break. His mom was sick. So that's how calculated Jay Z is. Mm. I'm gonna smack you when you're down. Okay. Don't worry about it. Ooh, ooh, kick you when you're down. Yeah. And what did Nas do? He said, forget this, that I'm boy, Nas. That boy came out swinging. I'm Nas. I'm going to try. I'm gonna put a new word in the hip-hop vocabulary. That ether. ether. That, that ether that make your soul, ether. your soul burn slow. Yeah. Ether. Yeah. And did you know the story? There was a, 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 a different version of ether mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. And then he changed it up. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Imagine if he didn't do that. Uh, when the hit is hard. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. But when the hit, hit is hard. But the hip-hop gods have spoken. And yeah. that happened. Mm -hmm. Nas, okay, we're on the same page. Mm -hmm. Now, this one, I'm a big West Coast fan. But I think I know okay. which way you're going, but I'm a big West Coast fan. Mm -hmm. But this is also, if we're talking hip-hop groups, this group is on the Mount Rushmore. Okay. Mob Deep's Infamous. Okay. Or Dog Pound's Dog Food. Oh, man. All right, so look, commercially, anything Snoop Touch is going out to the world for real, for real. They had yeah, that one track, gonna, New York, New York. Down on. Down on. It's going to get received. Down on. They shot out that boy. They shot out their trail and everything for that. Biggie boy, he's something else. Um, got on, the, speaking of radio, he got on the radio. He got on the radio. Like, him. But, um, <laughs> but look, though, it's like, I got to go uh, Mob Deep. Mob Deep. I got to go Mob Deep. Because that, that's, the, the, that's the style mm -hmm. that influences me. You know what I'm saying? West Coast hip hop. No. Not West Coast hip hop, but West Coast rap and styles that, that don't put, that don't push my pen. It don't. You know what I'm saying? When I came out with my first album, 
Mob Deep was a big ah, influence, okay. huge influence on the way I, I sampled my beats, mm, my delivery, mm. everything. Cause ain't no such thing as halfway. Anyways, <laughs> Sunday shook. <laughs> <laughs> this no. is another one. I, th I think we're leaning towards the same direction. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, when they came out with the top ten or whatever list or all that, this mm. group, a lot of people really backed them, and I was kind of surprised because I knew they were talented mm -hmm. and I knew they they made incredible music. But a lot of people put these artists or this group in the top 10. Who am I talking about? We're talking another double album CD mm. for both of these. Mm. Wu-Tang Clans, mm -hmm. Forever, mm -hmm. or Outkast, with Spectre Box, and The Love Below, which is the one that they did the two albums, Outkast. Yeah. Um, and they had some bombs on that one, too. I had, I had did a versus battle right there. What, what, uh, Mob Deep versus Outkast. But this is Wu-Tang. Yeah, I know. And... And you got to say Mob Deep was heavily influenced by uh, by the Wu. Um, I'm well, the, well, the same the same melting pot. Yeah. The same melting pot of hip hop. So I'm going to tell you where I'm going with it. Mm. Wu-Tang is here forever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my mm, 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 Rex. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wu-Tang, man. Wu-Tang, bro. That's it. Wu-Tang, man. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm pro Wu-Tang, but that outcast... I'm telling you, man. Like, people were like, bro, top 10, this, that, Andre 3000. And I was like, no disrespect to outcast, man. but Because they did that comparison, outcast and Mob Deep. You remember that? Where they were saying that? Her artist was saying that they picked outcast over Mob Deep. Hmm. Joe Budden said that. Oh, well. I know one of his podcasts. Joe Button to me is a flip flopper. Right? <laughs> so I did this on TikTok. I did this here on the show. Mad at him. <laughs> Outcast sold a lot of records, man. A whole lot. They diamond type people right there. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to them. They they own they masters. But go ahead. They ain't gotta work ever again in life. All right. So we're on the same page. Every mm -hmm. single one. We're on the same. Wow. One. This one is gonna be a close one. Mm -hmm. Little Wayne's the Carter Three. Mm -hmm. Or Kendrick Lamar, good kid, Mad C. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Um, yo, Wayne. Wayne is an icon. Wayne, Wayne uh, shifted the game. Um, mixtapes, when looked at and features, wasn't the same after Wayne touched it, right? But I'm just here to let you know. Uh. -uh. Now this is the first Kendrick one. Kendrick Lamar. And this, he, is, this is originally from one. Chicago, by the way. Yeah. Go ahead. His father was from here. Yeah. And then he moved to California. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Lil Wayne, I got to go with him. And I'm going to okay. tell you why. The Carter Three, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. Cash Money, they had the Juveniles, they had the Hop Boys. Mm -hmm. they had, for a mm -hmm. little bit, Cash Money, the only real star that was on their left was Lil Wayne. Okay. And the future of Cash Money was in question. They're going to survive. All their stars had left. Here comes Lil Wayne, shocked the world. Guess what, though? It was never in question who the, who the future was going to be regardless. Buddy was on that with Wayne. Baby, he was on that with Wayne, period. He was on that with him, period. So He believed in enough in him. Yeah, right? so along the way, it was always going to be Wayne, bro. All Wayne had to do was show up and show out. That was it. That Big Carter fact. 3, bro? Yeah. That Carter 3 album? Mm -hmm. Man, at that thing, repeat, repeat, yeah. repeat, repeat. And it made me look at Wayne a lot different. It made that was me a look, million, right? It was a milli. It was Lollipop was on mm -hmm. there. It, I know that's a commercial song, but when that song No, nah, my, my wife, you know, that don't, hits. Even, don't even like rap, but Lollipop is a thing. Uh, yo, don't be chopping this up, y'all. <laughs> Tell me my wife like, loves Lollipops. Right no, that's an incredible song. That beat itself. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Bro, the beat got me like yeah. right away. Like, whoa. And then his his bars. Yeah. Now, Kendrick, now, now this is where it's hard because Kendrick Lamar. His lyrics are incredible. He went crazy. It's incredible. And shout out to Dr. Dre because he, although he didn't produce beats on that, mm -hmm. but I'm sure he guided him. Missed a heavy influence right there. And that's why Kendrick comes out with these bars where it's like, it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. And it just goes perfect with whatever he does. And then you mm -hmm. put the, the sprinkling. That was a tough one for me. But I have to go with Little Wayne's The Car. Really. Only because what it meant for me. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll but, super get it. Uh, here's another tough one. Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style. Mm-hmm. Or Ice Cube death certificate. Damn, that's okay, a tough now one, right? That's, a, all that's right. a tough one. All right, all right. So here you go, L. <laughs> Come on, man. Look, look. All right, all right. Look, 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 look. look. Mm. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Mm. I gotta go. Salt in the room. All right. With Q. 
because that's my era. That's where I'm from. He just stepped away from, you know, and all that. Mm -hmm. And he went crazy and held his own. And it's a classic. Death Certificate. Mm -hmm. He left NWA. Yeah. He was trying to come up with his solo career. He was mm -hmm. having issues with his with his record label. Went, in there went over to the East Coast. Yeah. Right. Baseball bats and all, right? Mm -hmm. if, if the movie is accurate, if the story mm -hmm. is accurate. Went over to the East Coast, hung out with uh, different rappers mm -hmm. from New York. Mm -hmm. Public Enemy. Nation of Islam, Public Enemy. Yeah. Sat down with them. He said, hey, man, the West Coast... Uh, Had the nation protecting his career. Right, 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 right. But he had said something to the... I don't know. Don't quote me word for word, but to the extent of... They think uh, if I come out here, nobody from New York's going to mess with me because I'm from the West Coast. Something nah. like that. They're not going to produce my stuff. Oh, that's what they said. Bet. We're going to produce your whole album. Yeah. His storytelling is is up there with... He's considerably, you know, considered one of, one of the best mm -hmm. storytellers. Period. Who doesn't know? Straight out of Compton. Crazy yeah. mother. Man, Ice, Ice Cube. Cube. Everybody knows that line. Yeah. That This was a tough one because I'm a big Ice Cube fan. Right. But Snoop Dogg's... Doggy style when that came out, mm -hmm. it I was I think when that album came out it must have been like 13, 14. That's another game changer though. Game changer, bro. You know what I mean? Put Death Row on them. I mean that was already there. With it was the on chronic. the map, but after the Chronic, everybody was tuning into Snoop. They like well, okay, pardon me. His album finished, yo. And if you didn't have it, you lying or something. <laughs> I think I had a cassette. I had the CD, I had hey, a digital yo. copy, I had a bro, I like stole a lot, like two or three. Like, yeah, I'm about to say that, like a lot of people <laughs> say on, on our show, you know, we be uh, Crux would go there and be like, okay, what was the first album that you ever bought? You know, I think more than half the people we asked that question to um, say they stole their <laughs> first joint. You know what I'm saying? Oops, the five finger discount. Five okay. fingers right there. All right. So. The five fingers of death. And yeah, I, I stole five it. <laughs> I did. With the promise of, now I ain't still it out in no store, and then. Um, Somebody start, just I, left it on I've the had, table. I've had sticky fingers right there. No, I, I was one of those ones. Oh. Yo, let me listen to that. Oh, you got, oh okay, all right. And you never get it back? That was me. One of those that when you bought, somebody has it for so long, you got to borrow it back? Yo, <laughs> two, I got two ghost face joints uh, that my cousin Joe Dollars. Was like, yo, you need to check this out, blah blah. blah. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give it back. Mm -hmm. they, never, they, saw, they, never saw the light day. It's still in my little makeshift office <laughs> right now. So this was a. <laughs> now I think I know which way you're going here, but mm -hmm. they had this little competition that I remember. Maybe I remember it different, but I remember this one particular artist said, "If this rapper outsells me, I quit rapping." It's about and fifty. We're talking about fifty cents. Yeah. Get rich or die trying. Versus college to drop out. Okay. Kanye West. So. I, I think personally, right, that when you go back and listen to it, that 50 go hard. Right? Dr. Dre produced. It go hard, bro. It still has replay value. Damn near ended Child Rule's career with yeah. Wankster. Yeah, yeah. So my, my thing is this, though, is that when it comes to everyday life, when it comes to how I grew up, and, and um, I would say I wasn't shooting no guns at nobody right there. But you could relate. I more. knew the people that was doing it. Mm -hmm, I would mm -hmm. hoop with them, drink with them, all mm -hmm, that. But mm -hmm. I wasn't doing it. So I relate more in my personal experience to Ye. To Ye? You hmm. surprised me. I thought you were, you were leaning like I was going to go Kanye cent. West or whatever. Or I was going to lean to a 50. Nah. Um, I think that album is up there. Classic album, but... The world spoke Kanye West. Kanye, I'm going to tell you why I like that album so much. <laughs> because at that time when Kanye, I was still rapping, but I was really trying to get into producing. 50 was lying. He didn't quit, but go ahead. He didn't quit. <laughs> uh, we'll get into that. Yeah. But it, when, I saw, when I heard the production behind Kanye West, mm -hmm. I, was, I was just blown away. I think every mm -hmm. producer, if you lived in Chicago, we all try to mimic that style mm -hmm. to an extent. Mm-hmm. And also, what I, impressed me, so rap sounded a certain way. Yeah. We talked about a certain thing. Mm -hmm. Kanye West said, you know what? I'm a, I go to college, college dropout. I wear Gap uh, clothes. I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying, trying to tell you I'm this, I'm that. I'm myself. You know, and how many more people related to that? Because, you know, the population of, of, of people that, that, that rap about certain things mm -hmm. don't really live it. You know what I'm saying? I would I would tell you though that you know he kept people, it real to himself. A lot of people from from our neighborhood, be real honest. We all you have to be real, and 
rapping around people that know you know you. Mm -hmm. And you gonna come in the cipher or around and be like, yo, I got the 40, I'll bust you when you yeah. Get it I got your girl being naughty. <laughs> I got packs in my jaws. <laughs> hey, get out of here, man. You don't even do that, man. Right, I know right, you, right. B. Yeah, that's so right, yeah, that's yeah. Right. So yeah, nah, yeah. I can I couldn't do it. That's why you got the song that you had mentioned. Mm -hmm. And yo, they say don't sell drugs. I need to get this money. Christian boy turned thug, all for the love of money. Mm -hmm. Pimp holds break boulders. My lady want me to hold her. Your lady want me to hold her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what that was real for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had no business trying to sell no drugs, bro. Mm -hmm. So thank you. I think I uh, survived. We we both survived, bro. We both ah, survived. You know what? The we're winner, survivors. We're both the winners in this one, man. Yeah, the only easy, thing. Right. Uh, so I right. so yeah. One we didn't quick quick recap. Yeah. Tupac, Biggie. We mm -hmm. both chose Pac. Nas, Jay Z, we both pick Nas. Mm -hmm. Mob Deep, Dog Pound, we both pick Mob Deep. Mm. Wu Tang, Outcast, we both pick Wu Tang. Mm -hmm. Little Wayne, Kendrick, I went. Little mm -hmm. Wayne, you went Kendrick Lamar. Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, I went Snoop Dogg, you went Ice so Cube. Too. Kanye West, 50 mm. Cent, we both pick Kanye West. And shout out to you, though, for this right here, because somebody done got me. Like, I'd be getting everybody <laughs> else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And we I had a couple pairs, man. Yeah, I had a couple man. Pair. I had a couple pairs. I'm yeah. messing with you, bro. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we got, we we got, we got what you just did, and the whole thing I be doing now is it's called one gotta go. You know what I'm saying? So oh, gotta go. Yeah, man. You gonna kill me right now? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs>